Hey my friends, it's Spring Cat here. Welcome back to another episode. For the past a year, due to the whole pandemic situation, I have spent most of my time in this tiny little space to study, work, and create. In today's video, I would like to share with you guys my desk setup in 2021. I'm gonna divide it into two different parts. So the first part, I'm gonna talk about the device I'm using, for example, the laptop, monitor. And the second part of the videos, I will focus more on the peripherals. I will talk about the stand, what stand, what mats, what um, accessories I'm using. And I really hope this video can inspire you to create your own workplace and optimize your workplace in a way that fit into your personal workflow and be more productive as a result. Yep, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start from my laptop. It's a MacBook Air 2018. It is a 13 inches, 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigabyte storage. I know it is definitely not the best laptop for editing my videos, but in terms of taking notes or browsing the internet or basic editing, video or pictures is more than enough for me if you're currently looking for a new macbook for your work or school i would definitely recommend the m1 macbook air the new apple air has upgraded keyboard and also the overall speed power efficient just everything is much better than last generation okay let's move on to my monitor i'm actually pretty exciting about this one. This monitor is from BenQ, is the EW27A0Q. BenQ should definitely work on their names though, but other than that, it's a solid all-in-one monitor. If you're looking for a monitor that could do a little bit of everything, like studying, working, content creating, consuming media, pairing with my 13-inch display for my MacBook Air, I have more than enough space to multitask, like one window for my essay, two or three windows for my readings or grammar checking on the side. It is also come with different display modes, depends on your needs such as eye cares, low blue lights, and different HDRI. The low blue light reduces the number of blue lights on your screen. It comes in handy when you're looking at the screen for a standard period of time. For HDRI, it is kind of like true tone for Apple. It changes the color setting depends on your environment and create a better gaming or viewing experience. Oh yeah, you also come with two 5 watts built-in speakers. They're definitely not the best in the world, but it's pretty solid for a building speaker perspective. It also saves you tons of space if you have a small table like mine. I'm using an Anchor Type-C hub for plugging in all the ports to connect my laptop to my monitor. For the cable management, I'm just using the Canon lens case to put in all the cables. Still working on it. For the mouse and keyboards, I'm still rocking with the Logic X and Master 3 with the MS keys. If you want to know more about this combo, you can also check on another videos that I made. I believe this is still one of the best productivity types of mouse and keyboards. I love the customizations and overall key traveling and clicking experience for my keyboard and mouse. For the tablet, I'm using a MacBook Mini 5 with the Apple Pencil 1. It is an underrated tablet for sure. I mainly use it to review my notes on the way to somewhere or take notes during the meeting. For the noise canceling headphone, I'm still using the Sony WH-1000XM3. I mainly use it when I study or edit my video videos or simply just want to stay focused. Even though it's a two years old product, I still believe it's one of the top tiers noise cancelling headphones in the market right now. Last but not least, I also have this little minimal design projectors from BenQ right here. I would do a dedicated unboxing slash long term review video about it because it is honestly pretty cool. I believe it could be an excellent replacement for a TV or a traditional projector. If you live in a small place like me, it has around 3 hours of battery life. I usually use it when I want to watch a movie at home or to watch video while I'm exercising. You can also use it as a Bluetooth speaker if you want. Okay, let's move on to the peripheral, the second part of this video. So there's a couple of products that I'm just absolutely love. First of all is my chair. Just like my headphones, mouse, and keyboard, I have also mentioned it from my past video. It is a secret lab type 10 chair. One thing that I love about this chair the most is the lumbar support as well as the size of the chair and how soft it is. After listening to you guys' recommendations, I decided to have one laptop stand and one monitor stand to reduce stress and strain from my neck and shoulders. Open a drawer. I just had my calculator 
SSD, memory cards, and stationery. I have my handwritten notebooks from the left side and my iPad mini from the right side underneath the monitor stand. For the decorations, I have two little fake plant stuff that Olivia made for me. I also have a stone in the middle. It is from another decoration Olivia made for me. I also have a desk mat. It's made from cork. I like cork. It's really nice and soft, but it gets dirty over time. If you don't want to spend too much time cleaning, I would also recommend other materials, for example, PU leather. From the left side of the table, I have a Pokemon tea coaster with my water bottle, other daily accessories, and gifts that my friends and Olivia gave to me. On the left side of the wall, I also have four removable blackboards to write down my weekly plans for my classes, videos, and workouts. I really hope this desk tour can inspire you to make some adjustments for your desk or getting some new products for your table for the purpose of increasing, boosting your productivity in the future. Anyway, so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.